when Billy Bob Thornton was uh, married to or dating uh, Angelina Jolie? Angelina Jolie. Do you remember those days? Yes. yes. And they both wore a vial of each other's yes. blood yes. around their necks. And I was uh-huh. like, oh, we want to show our love for each other, man. Yeah, that lasted long. And then Machine Gun <laughs> Kelly and um, uh, oh Megan, Megan Kelly. Megan Fox. Megan, Megan Fox. Fox. Pardon yes. me. Megan Fox. They're like doing some kind of weird thing with the blood, right? Whatever. But Tony Hawk doesn't come across to me as a guy that would be in that, like, I'm doing something with my blood kind of guy. No. no. Right? Just flip over and skateboard a bunch yeah. and stuff like that. And he's, like, a real family-friendly guy. Does some really cool stuff with kids now Definitely. with skateboarding yeah. and whatever. Right? So it was interesting when I, I saw the story that Tony Hawk infuses his own blood into skateboards. And then sells the skateboards, essentially with his DNA in them, of course, yeah. for $500 a piece. You know what? That doesn't surprise me. Like, because what? he's that in love and obsessed with his skateboarding. Like, when you think of Tony Hawk, that's all you think of, That's right? what he does, yeah. You think of him as the greatest skateboarder, the guy that brought skateboarding to prime time he's or He's like mainstream. the godfather of, yeah. yeah. So I, I kind of get it. Like, if you told me him and his wife, you know, wore each other's blood the way Joe Lee and Billy Bob did, that would have surprised me. But the fact he's in love with his skateboard and wants to give it its own blood... So Oddly I guess he's, I don't know, like pricking his finger, dropping the blood droplets into the whatever, you know, the, the, the stuff... Yeah. That you make the skateboard out of, or is it, I don't know if it's in the wheels, they, or if it's in it, the board itself. I don't know about that, but they mix it with red paint. So they take a little bit of blood, they mix it with the red paint, and then I think it would probably be in the board part. So the you're basically right? buying a, <laughs> t- yeah, like Tony Hawk, who, like, if you, if I, like, I don't know a lot about skateboarding, no. but if I were going to buy my son or my daughter a skateboard, and there was a Tony Hawk skateboard oh, at Walmart. He's the, he's the most I, wrecked, the Mount he, Rushmore of I'd probably buy the Tony Hawk skateboard because no I know the guy's name. Is there a letter of authenticity that's right. really his blood? Like, the point I'm saying is I don't need his DNA on the board. <laughs> I don't know any other skateboard is really has household names. That's the one I'm buying anyway. Is that going to be like the newest trend with uh, sneakers? Like Kyrie Irving has By put the his way, blood in his sneakers. If there was a guy that would do it, it would probably be Kyrie because <laughs> he's believed in like the black voodoo magic stuff, right? Yeah, yeah. It's a gr- now that you think about it, it's like, remember those uh, um, bracelet beads that they used to claim had holy water inside each of the beads? It was like water directly from the Dead Sea. There's a chance Jesus himself floated in these waters, right? <laughs> right. And people are like, oh, my God. I have the oh my god! <laughs> and people went crazy for the holy water beads, which was just like a faucet in Newark. Some guy was like Dominus Nabisco, and boom, the water's holy, right? <laughs> right. But I don't like five hundred bucks because it's got Tony Hawk's blood in it. Would and either one? Of I know. You, thank you. Would either one of you do that? Well, now I'm thinking maybe Evan and I should. That's what I'm thinking. Oh, <laughs> combine. For the store. Both of your blood on one like, thing. Like, what item do we sell in the store that Evan and I could put our Blooded. Let's not worry about other forms of bodily fluid <laughs> DNA. Yeah, yeah, Who's thinking that? Let's keep it as clean think, as uh, possible. Legal would accept that. Yeah. Like, what do you think we could sell here? Like that people, you have to sell something that people want to buy. Like if we put our blood on a, you know, like we wouldn't do it on a shirt. No, a shirt no. or a hat doesn't work. Because that would just be a stain. Yeah, exactly. Right. <laughs> right? Ketchup, yeah. So maybe over the course of the day, maybe we'll think of some well, things. Yeah. I and figure if you're talking about the Tony Hawk with the blood, yeah. Evan Roberts can do the same thing. How's by that? Put his blood on a scoreboard. Oh, a laminated <laughs> Evan Roberts scorebook with his blood on it. I like that. <laughs> Almost like the old Steiner Sports Certificate of Authenticity. One droplet of that red-headed stepchild blood of his. What do you think of that? In the upper right-hand corner. Yeah. Signed. Yeah. <laughs> you know what's funny? This That'd morning. Be hot. Brain on Twitter tweeted me a direct message where he said, Evan, I just bought a scorebook. I'm going to be scoring games from now on, and I just want to thank you <laughs> for inspiring me. <laughs> and so to you, Brain, I just want to say Brain? thank you. That's his name, Brain. Yeah. Brain. I'm not reading it wrong. It's not Brian. It's how, Brain. How old is Brain? Where he just discovered really... the, the concept of being home alone, you know, <laughs> eating Klondike bars while you uh, score games because no one wants to go out with you. No, listen, Brain <laughs> seems like a good dude. Brain wants to score baseball games, and I admire that. So good for you, Brain. Now, can I sell a copy of my scorecards? Because I don't want to sell the real thing. Yeah, but it's gotta, as long as the blood's real. No, the blood is real. But when I put out my Johan no-hitter scorecard, it's got to be a copy. 
I'm not giving you the real score. So it's card. almost like a lithograph of a Picasso. It's a lithograph of my Picasso with my genuine blood. That's the authenticity part. How much do you think we can get for that? So it's going to be... Is that the game, by the way? Is the, that the game that I scored well, that you would the want the most? the game S&Y plays every day, so we might as well <laughs> use that. Right. Um, so the Santana no-hitter. No-hitter. Lithograph. Yeah. Laminated. Lam- I would do the lamination. Right. Drop of authentic Evan Roberts blood, initial to sign by you. Yes. Shockingly, forty nine ninety five. Really? I think you get fifty bucks for that. I don't think you could sell a hundred of them. I bet you could sell five of them. Though. All right. You know what? Let's do it. Tell the FAN store. Is that still thing exist? I don't think so. There's no FAN store. I think we closed. Them. Oh. oh, did we? I, <laughs> did we? I don't even know. If there's I haven't an heard, FAN I haven't heard store. a word about it. When I stop giving them ideas for it. <laughs> well, that's probably why. Yeah. yeah well, here's an idea. Tell them to sell, and let's go. Well, they for- can't sell it. You have to do it. Well, yeah, I don't want to sell it until someone buys it. Like, why am I going to put this yeah, together if no one buys it? So I think you have to do this, and I think it's got to be like a numbered thing. Limited okay. edition. Like, you're only going to do, like, you have to commit to doing how many of them? I'll commit to doing five. All right. But you can't do six. I'm not doing six. But you find what I'm saying? Five. Like, if nine orders come in, it's just the first five. The six guys out, he gets okay. screwed. Only five. And by the way, all the money goes to and charity. Do I don't five? want the money. Well, the money's going to go to the FAN store. It's not no. going to go to charity. I don't want it to go to the FAN store. Well, then it's not going to be sold in well, the store. Well, then FAN I'm not going to do it. I want it to go to charity. I don't want someone profiting off of my school right, so di- blood. We can just do it digitally on social Good. media. Digitally on social media. Yeah. To go to charity. I think you have to produce one so we can show people. So you want me to laminate a copy of the Johan No Hitter? Yeah. Now remember my book. I'll show you my book. I don't care to see. No, it. well, you're gonna have to. But I don't want to. It's two see pages. It. You see? Yeah. There's the visiting team. There's the home team. Right. So the Cardinals would be here on the left. That's so you the have road to. Team. You're gonna have to rip it out. That's no. I'm gonna make a copy. Mm. You know, rip it out. But but my point is, Craig. There are two sides. Pages. Yeah, I get it. You want me to go back to back, like make them like? I think flip? you do uh, next to each other. Next to each other. I think so. I think you want to be horizontal versus. Yeah. 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 Horizontal. Maybe a little plaque on the bottom. How, how expensive is this going to be for me to make? It's going to well, cost I mean, more than 50 bucks. That's charity, though. So. I mean, it's charity, Evan. It's, uh, <laughs> no, I'm okay. You're for doing for yourself. No, I'm okay with that. Maybe, I'm even, just maybe put a nice wooden frame around it. Yeah, of course, yeah. You know, that type of, so that each one's going to cost me $300. Maybe, maybe, maybe Get the wooden frame personally. with uh, that really happy Midwestern family that's always on vacation that you buy when you go to JCPenney's and Walmart's. <laughs> right? Are you going to want one of these for your office? No. Why? <laughs> because I work with you. You don't have my scorecards displayed. But I kind of do. I feel like, you know, through proxy, I, I have access through to it. Through proxy. Maybe you'll make one just for the office. We'll put it up here in okay. our non-existent shelves. All right. Yeah. All right, so the Johan no-hitter, that's the game, right? Sure. There's no other game you want me to do? Mets winning the pennant in 2015? You're cool. Let, why don't you see if the Santana no-hitter sells first? If that sells, then go to the next game. Okay. But just you got to do one. All right, we're going to do and Johan. And you're going to do a droplet of blood yep. on the photocopied paper. Then you're going to laminate it. Well, hold on a second. So you, you can't drop the blood on the laminate. I'm dripping blood on the paper? Yeah. I thought so we're, putting, we're not putting it in a vial? It's just going right on the paper? No, on the paper. So now it's going to be stained you, with my blood? That's the idea. You're, that's what Tony Hawk did. His blood's in the skateboard. Wait, quick question. When I put the blood, like, all right, come here for a second. Or I'll come to you. Since you don't like to get up. There's a box where I write notes yeah. about the game. Should I drop the blood in the box and then circle the blood and say, this is my blood? No, you just, just sign to it. Clarify. Just clarify. That's where you'll sign it. Oh, so I don't have to like explain what it is? Nope. Just the blood gets dropped. Boom. I sign it. Yep. And that's it. You could write my blood if you want. Well, I that's suppose. what I'm asking. Just to clarify, this isn't an ice cream stain. This is my blood. Yeah, you're right, my blood. Because sometimes games feature stains, you know, from whatever May happened. I that see night. the book. Of May I, I just want to give people Which an idea. Which game would you like to I see? Just, I just want to see the book. This is the last. No, I don't care. Good. I just want to give people an idea of what you write in the notes column. Because <laughs> that fascinates me. All right. This is the Bob Carpenter baseball scorebook. Random opening. So in the note column, this is a game at Lone Depot Park, Mets Marlins. One of three season series, three of nineteen. I assume that's runners in scoring position. No, I'm no, assuming. No, you're, you're very far off. What if Jay three Hoyer means collects first hit? Khalil Lee collects <laughs> first MLB hit in RBI. Yeah, that's wow. right. That's yes. in the notes column. Yeah, Khalil okay. Lee got his first major league. Random hit. page. Uh, Royals Yankees. Rivera gets first National League hit or Major League hit. Um, Ruby Odor 
hit by pitch. Okay. Great American <laughs> Ballpark, Mets Reds, two of three season series. Yeah, I say it's game two of a three game series, and then the season series. One nothing Met. Wow. All right, let's wow. go to just oh, went a little too far. Yikes. Okay, let's go to another game. And You're not pleased say. with my notes. Uh, it's notes. only if something happens, like a guy got his first major league hit. No, Don't have to stop. write a note for everything. India not hit by pitch in first is overturned. Yes, I do the overturns. Yes. <laughs> You're awesome. The challenges, it's yeah. An unbelievable. Loser. Damn right. This is phenomenal. <laughs> this is such a new level of Dungeons and Dragons. It's no, awesome. it's not. Yeah, How it could is. you compare the two? I'm We're the... watching the same games. I just like to have my brain moving while I'm watching the game. That's On the all. left side, there's a thing called VGHG. I guess visitor home, I'm assuming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Win loss, games back, hits, runs. No, no. Home errors, record, road record. What's uh, the E, the C, and the... East, Central, and West. The record God, against these got division. the record there. <laughs> Yes. It's a very uh, intricate scorebook Bob Carpenter this created. This is crazy town yeah. is what this is. Now you're on my blank pages. All right. Field of Dreams game. That's right. He has the Field of Dreams game <laughs> That game in was insane. Yeah. Insane. Yeah. All right. Let's you, see what else. you know what I'm surprised you didn't notice? What? Which I think is the geekiest thing I do, and you haven't picked up on it yet. At the but now sometimes I haven't filled it out yet. In fairness, I'm behind. I name a star of the game. You left that part out. He names a star of the game. He yeah. also has guys on the bench, and as they're used, he crosses them off. That's right. Like he's got the official scorecard in the dugout. That's right. Well, this is some. This is like when you see the um, the Dateline episode. <laughs> Stop serial it. killers Come next on. door. Come on. This is the evidence they produce in court. Why? I'm committed to my craft and what I love. Yeah, Keith Morrison talked to the neighbor Dolly. <laughs> I always knew he was up to no good the yeah. way he kept that scorebook. <laughs> he was a quiet man. You know, if there was anyone that was going to be a serial killer in this town, it was Roberts kept to himself and kept score of every game. And I got 20 of those things filled going back to <laughs> 1995. There you go. Not even kidding you. There you go. Star of the game. All right, my man. That's phenomenal. There you go. Don't throw it. I mean, don't What's throw wrong it with you. It's all right. It's You'll a valuable right. piece of something I love. You just don't throw it. I apologize. Would I throw it. your dog? I, I th- no. 